hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Dun Dun. The place where all toys prosper. They will and shall forever. Okay? Alright guys, and so in today's video, we will be taking a look at something pretty unique. However, uh, this item is from a company that we are quite familiar with on the channel and uh, we are also a big fan of. And that company is none other than the PJ Masks, okay? So now guys, uh, without further ado, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the one and only... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Guys, as you can see today, we will be reviewing oops, the ASST PJ Masks Mystery Mountain Quads or the Assistant uh, PJ Masks Mystery Mountain Quads, more specifically the Owlet Quad. Okay. All right, guys. So now, quickly, this is the view from the front. Okay, as you can see there, looking pretty good. Uh, then follows the view from the right hand side. Okay, not too bad. And of course, after that comes in the view from the uh, the back, <laughs> where we can see a bunch of things. Okay, and after that follows the view from the left hand side. You know, looking pretty unique and cool. Then what we get to see is the view from the bottom. Okay. And to top it all off, here comes the view from the T.O.P. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, by taking a look at the view from the front, right? What we can see here is that we will get, uh, you know, Owlet, which is like a figure, and then we will also get her uh, her very own quad. That's pretty interesting. Here you have the power of Mystery Mountain, which is the episode from which uh, this this design was inspired from. And then apparently we also the vehicle also seems to have some kind of a retractable hook, which is interesting. Now. And also, uh, before before we before I forget, also here we have like a warning for like a choking hazard, saying that you know some of the small parts can easily be swallowed by uh, children under the ages of three. So guys, if you have any kid or brother who's who is uh, under the age of three, make sure to always supervise them or really you know pay close attention to them, specifically when they pay, when they're playing with uh, toys like this. All right. Now, if we move over. To the view from the back you can see that this toy is part of a collection of more toys that include there is a limited to the gecko well gecko's very own quad cat boy's very own own cat boy's cat boy's is very own quad and of course outlet squad the one that we will be reviewing right now and all fans and lovers are encouraged to collect them all right so now guys before of course, we get started with this. I'm gonna share with you the story behind how this toy found its way on the channel. All right, guys. So as per usual, I was looking for a new toy to review on the channel, and I was looking for a PJ Masks toy because I really, really, really love the PJ Masks, and then you guys also do really enjoy whenever I make a review of them. So. You know it's a no-brainer that you know almost every other day I must review a PJ Masks toy and yeah but specifically this time though I wanted to get like a toy that most people aren't familiar with as far as like PJ Masks uh, fans and lovers are concerned and I just happened to come across uh, the Mystery Mountains uh, special so I figured so I figured why don't I just go ahead and you know get a, uh, a toy inspired from that episode and then make a quick review for you guys so that is pretty much it all right guys let me do let me know how i'm doing so far by leaving a comment all right liking the video uh, sharing it with your friends and family member subscribing if you haven't already 
and of course hitting the bell icon to stay tuned for more all right guys so now without further ado let's jump right into it okay guys so as per usual i've got my scissors here i am ready to get busy <laughs> all right so the PJ Masks are racing up uh, the Mystery Mountain with their new Mystery Mountain quads. Kids can now enjoy Catboy, Owlet, and Gecko as they head up the mountains to save the day. These dynamic vehicles include a retractable hook to help uh, defend against the villains. All fans and lovers are always encouraged to collect all three figures in vehicle sets, including you know, Catboy's quad. Owlet Squad, Owl, Owlet Squad, uh, Gecko Squad, and then of course each of, each of them is sold separately. Each figure stands around 3 inches in height, alright? And this story is recommended for people of ages 3 and up. Okay? Definitely something good to know. So now let's go ahead and get busy with this. As you guys can see here at the bottom, there there are a few zip ties that need to be broken, right, in order to access the goodies. So, and then need to get. Owlet and also here Owlet she is secured to the packaging by uh, some more zip ties. We have one like around her foot. We have one around uh, the neck area. I need to go ahead and remove that pretty uh, quick for you guys because I don't want to make the video uh, too long. So, yeah. All right, guys. So this is what the packaging looks like once it's been emptied, then you're destroyed. If you ask me. But anyway, that isn't what why we're here. We're here to play with these toys, which is the quad and outlet herself. So first and foremost, here comes, boom. So this is what Owlet's uh, quad looks like. Pretty cool and pretty nice. You have the hook right here that is dangling. So now quickly, this is the view from the front of the quad. Then comes uh, the view from the right hand side, as you can see here. And that is followed by um, the view from the back, of course. Mm -hmm. Then comes in um, the view from the left hand side, which is pretty nice. And then the view from the bottom, like that. Followed by the view from the T.O.P. Barber. Alright. So now guys, let's further examine the quad. You, see, you can see here that a quad has four wheels one two and then three four and then they have like the uh, how do you call this the red thing I forgot the name of it but it's red and then you can see some owl eyes that they added as a golden accent right and then you can see also the owl logo right here like owlets logo you can see her pretty unique steering wheel. This is, uh, this is what her steering wheel looks like. Then this is where she typically seats. Seats. I mean, then this is where she keeps her legs. So this is where she put one of the legs there, and then the other leg stays there. And then look at the wings that they added at the back, making it look more unique and one of a kind so that's that and also this is the hook 
that she uses in order to protect uh, herself and also to capture the villains. So that's nice. And let's see here. From the back we can see that there are a few things that I use to keep the toy together. You can see here a few screws. Pretty nice. Overall, you know, making this toy look like a work of art. I like it a lot. Okay. Now, here comes the star of today's show. The one and only Owlet. So this is what Owlet looks like. As you guys can see here. So now quickly, this is uh, the view from the front. All right. Then followed by the view from the right hand side, as you can see here. And after that comes in the view from the back. All right. Then the view from the left hand side, followed by the view from the bottom. Yep. And to top it all off, here comes the view from the T.O.P. Okay, so now let's further examine Owlet. So Owlet has her classical, um, what is it called, red suit, right? Now this time she's wearing some dark, what is it called, this is maroon gloves, as you guys can see here, up close. Her maroon gloves. And she's also wearing some maroon boots, you can see here, looking pretty good. And then around her chest, there's this piece that is connected to her torso as well, like so. You can see here, this is like pinkish, and then with a golden accent there, and also a sleek design to it, that's pretty nice. And right here, when we move over to the top, we can see her face. You can see her, we can see her mouth, you can see her nose, you can see her eyes, and you can see her helmet. So this golden helmet with also some wings or some type of wings attached to it. And also this little thing right here, this is like the owl symbol that they added. But it's pretty cool and pretty nice. And then from the back we can see um, they also added like an extra set of wings, I believe, like a little owl wings. They went ahead and added that, thus making Owlet looking pretty good and pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and check to see if she has any type of articulations. So her arm, her arms can rotate 360. So that's awesome. Her legs can move forward and backward only. That's cool too. Um, her head can rotate slightly to the left and slightly to the right. So no full rotation. And then the rest of her body is simply attached. So therefore, nothing else can rotate besides her head and her, her head, her arms and her legs. So the head slightly to the left, slightly to the right. The arm 360. Okay. The leg up, down, up, down. And then that is about it for Owlet in the Owlet Squad. All right, guys. So as for me, this toy uh, gets a rating of five out of five for a few reasons. Number one, it is of a rather good size. So for me guys, this toy is of a rather good size. You will always claim that I prefer my toys to be quite big and quite and quite tall. This one for today does it. Uh, number two, it is sure to spark some creativity. So definitely while playing with this toy, you will be well your creativity will be sparked and then you will have lots and lots of fun. But it will be better if you go ahead and add either Catboy or Gecko and then have some pre-written scripts and ideas in order to make the fun last you know quite a while. Uh, number three, it is made out of good material and holds a beautiful craftsmanship. Definitely the material used uh, to build this toy is good and the craftsmanship 
is also admirable. And quickly we can go ahead and kind of get closer. You guys can see the attention to details. Like so. We can also take a look quickly at the craftsmanship. You see? There are barely there are barely there are <laughs> there are barely any flaws to this toy. Like literally. Uh, number four, it is reusable. Yep, this toy is very reusable as long as you take good care of it. All right, like any other toy. And then last but not least, it is nice and somewhat sturdy. However, uh, you should avoid dropping it in order to limit the amount of scuffs, scratches, and possible cracks and breaks. Okay, so guys, please be very cautious and diligent while playing with this toy. Okay, specifically the vehicle. All right. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, marks the end of today's video. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Yep. Leave a comment to let us know what you think, what you would like to see, and where we all can improve. Share this video with a friend or a family member in order to help us spread the word and to raise awareness. But most importantly, make sure to completely destroy that subscribe button and to also hit the bell icon to stay tuned for more. As always guys, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye! Owlet. <laughs>